Washington Invitational. Now all week we've been taking a moment to bring attention to the victims of the Nepal earthquake who are struggling to rebuild their lives in the wake of last month's disaster. If you'd like to help donate or help with the relief efforts, please visit internationalmedicalcorps.org or head to the Lolly Sports Facebook page for more information. Now we're going to jump into our semifinal series between Fnatic and SK Telecom T1. Game two here. First thing I want to touch on is the draft face because I actually loved both compositions that came out for these teams. I thought Fnatic had a really interesting uh, plan of attack here, leaving the LeBlanc up. I really like the boldness in their draft. Faker is known for having LeBlanc permabanned against him, and what do they do? They leave it up and then they take it away from them, but... He had the answer of Ezreal, and interestingly enough, he did more damage than LeBlanc and Sivir combined by a margin of 7,000, so he's no slouch on Ezreal. I feel like the performance of Faker was just really, really incredibly strong. He was undefeated on Ezreal unless the one game he faced off against GE Tiger and died and lost the game. Um, <laughs> I think that they play incredibly well, especially this cocky Ezreal team comp. And once they had Triforce in this game, they just steamrolled through Fnatic. Even before they had Triforce, let's just hit on the bottom lane for a second. We said that the head-to-head -head was going to be the thing that we were looking for. In that lane, Bang got that far ahead that he just packed up shock left, went into the mid lane where LeBlanc can only go into melee range to clear those creeps out, and they fast pushed the turret by eight minutes. We're all sitting at the desk scribbling like, yeah, still back doing an okay job. Bang picked up and left the lane for like a minute 30, went shop, went mid lane, took that out, then came back bot. And they had absolutely no, I guess, answer for the quick play that was coming out of SKT this time. We always talk about the Trinity Forest power spike. Okay, you got Trinity, go down, push middle. They were using the Sheen power spike <laughs> to push down towers. Like, that's the next level. Yeah, so a lot of pressure coming out from SKT. Of course, Hooney did play very well for Fnatic. Though. Not enough, though. He was doing some serious work there, zoning both of the, uh, the AD carries up. I think what we should point out is the first blood in the early game. They played so much, even afterwards, they played so much around the top side, and Rainova controlled this, the pace of the top side incredibly well. Um, Huni actually getting ahead, bullying out Ma Marin multiple times, forcing the TP, getting the first blood. I mean, just really, really strong play from and, both groups. And more impressively, he had a team fight where he assassinated Faker and then zoned Bang out of the fight. He legitimately took care of both threats yeah. in one team fight, and they still couldn't manage to pull it off. This guy turns tiny gold leads, like First Blood, turning it into that amount of pressure around the map is such a credit to the top later for Fnatic. I think he needs to do a little bit more, though, because he should itemize more towards the laning phase. He could have abused Marin even more, but he went with the early home guard rush to really help out his team. If he thinks he's the best top laner, build for the lane and try to kill Marin over and over and over. We know he's susceptible to dying multiple times. Once he dies once, you know, he's going to keep feeding I want to see him change the build, maybe go for the phase before completing the home guards and help himself out before helping the team. I'm looking for Steelback to step up in these fights. As we mentioned, when they commit to them, they really need the AD carry to follow through. We're going to send it over to Quick Shot, Monte Cristo, and Kobe at the caster booth for game two. But first, Rainover says the top lane showdown between Huni and Marin is one e even the pros have to be looking forward to. Huni against Marin. Uh, I saw that Marin wanted to play tried to play against us at MSI, like when, on the interview after the Korea uh, LCK final. So Huni was like saying like, oh, why did he, why did he say this? Like, like I'm nervous, like this. Like he, really, he, like he also really wanted to play with Marin. Uh, I don't think, uh, I don't think Marin is better than Huni, but also I don't think Huni is better than Marin, but both are really good players. So when we go best of five, I think both top are gonna be really impact, have impact on the game every game. And welcome back to Florida, everybody. We're about to jump into game two between SKT and Fnatic. As you can see on stage, Fnatic this time around will be on the blue side. And we just heard Rainover talking about the impact of their respective top laners, Huni and Morin. Morin's Maokai definitely having a bigger impact in the team fights in that mid game. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. You see his team fighting prowess